All right, man, Torture Talk. Back in the building, baby. We back in the building. Torture Talk, Torture Talk. You know what it is. This is the 6 o'clock show, man. Thank y'all for joining me. I really appreciate y'all. I hope y'all on your way home from work. You know what I mean? Working double. Y'all probably worked a double and ready to get home, take a shower, get some dinner, get some uh, get some head or whatever, and uh, lay down and, and go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's the best night. Anyway, so to today's episode, I'm going to be talking about top five, uh, talking about something he's going to unalive uh, or delete uh, some people. And um, and I think it's, I just find it fascinating that, that this guy can actually say this openly. And, um, you know, nothing happens. So, look, before we get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, seg- single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal is in the description. Let me know where you from. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000 subscribers. I want a million by Monday. Share this content with your friends and your family. Thank y'all. Tell them all about Torture Talk. Tell them all about the Torture Chamber. Tell them all about all this, man. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're going to get into this clip, man. This comes from Chilling with Moni. I love her channel. She's so cute. (laughs) She's so cute. You know what I'm saying? I love her channel. And yeah, we're going to get to it, man. Let's do it. All right, man. So let's get it, man. Let's see what she got to say. Of course, we're going to come back. (laughs) Let's go where she's in stripper attire but she's interviewing people um but top five was on the show so what is it called late night and he's on this platform talking about he's going to unalive j3 now oh, i feel like i've been in la i think i got a grip on it that's why you have to bring me a couple ski masks you know we've I mean? been watching the videos to make sure you know who's who yeah you know what's so crazy me wants you up from 3 a.m 7 a.m pausing we play like we did a homework holy shit. i feel like i've been in la this, 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 oh, so he basically said he did his homework last week, y'all know, or two weeks ago. He was saying how him and Drake are going to meet up and they're going to look at the Not Like Us music video and they're going to do homework and they're going to pinpoint out all of the people who were in the Not Like Us music video who were at the pop out. Basically, they're going to do their homework. You know who's who? Yo, you know what's so crazy? <laughs> uh. It just got me scratching my head because I definitely think, and I got a lot to say about the internet. I got a lot to say because the internet has made people feel so invincible. And guys like Top 5, we should not tolerate these type of people in our culture. Like, we shouldn't. They should be they should be exiled from our culture. A hundred percent. It should be people coming out going against this. It shouldn't this should this this should not fly. And I'm gonna tell y'all why it shouldn't fly. You don't see this happen in the Asian community. If they, if you don't ever see somebody in the Asian community saying something like this, if they do, they don't play no games. They'll exile you real quick. They get you out of here. We always talk about how much we love black culture and black the black community and all this stuff but we allow people like this to exist in our culture now i'm not saying something got to happen to him deleting all that stuff i'm not saying that i'm saying well y'all know what i'm saying when i say this we need to get these we need to weed these dudes out because they do nothing for the culture nothing they absolutely do nothing for black culture absolutely nothing why do we still allow them to even or us even let them even entertain anything in our culture this should be cut off at the head that's it nah nah bro everybody should come out against this everybody We want you up from 3 a.m., 7 a.m., pausing. We play like we did a homework. Holy shit. I feel like I've been in LA. This, this oh, shit, we're lurking. Weeks. Mm-hmm. 
Where's my oh, so yo, what's uh, that? What's that next? LA guy that says he wants to fade. Yeah, what's that? J three. J three. J three. I'm that? gonna give him a fade, but I'm gonna <laughs> done him. <laughs> I'm gonna done him. I'm gonna tell him, yo, let's do the fade. And when he comes through, I'm gonna do it my word. I'm gonna done. So he just said he's gonna <laughs> done. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy for you to say. Some of these dudes, they say things, and I understand that they're trying to get people to watch them but for you to literally say i'm going to tell him i want to fight him and then i'm and then you put a, a hand motion like a gun saying i'm gonna done him boom this is what you're saying openly about one of kendrick's friends that you're going to you're going to delete them you literally said that on camera openly you openly said that you're going to delete somebody on camera, bro. And we allow this type of guy in our culture. We allow this. We allow all this. This is crazy. Uh, meaning he's going to unalive J3. And he literally just did the motion. He said that he's going to offer J3 a fade and then he's going to done him. J3. 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 I'm going to give him a fade, but I'm going to done him. I'm going to done him. I'm going to tell him, yo, let's do the fade. And when he comes through, I'm going to do it with my word. I'm going to done the guy. Yeah. The guy's talking. I just beat the body. I feel like I'm untouchable. So what? Baby girl, why are you sitting here in this stripper attire? Why? But he just said that he feels untouchable and that he just beat a body. I don't know. And I don't know about y'all. And I don't know where y'all from. But I'm originally born and raised in Patterson, New Jersey. I live in Georgia now. But I'm originally from Patterson, New Jersey. I don't know any real steppers who run around bragging about the crimes they had allegedly committed. You could not get a real. I understand exactly what she's saying. I understand. I never, I never understood that either. Some of these people, they, they do these things and they say these things as if it's just something that they could just say. But I, you, she absolutely right. I, not one time have I ever seen a real, one of the realest, real do something and say something like he just said on camera. And it's like, you setting yourself up for failure because you doing all this talking and then something happens to you or you, wherever you go, you think people are going to let that slide? And I think a lot of people do that too. They do that on purpose. They know that they're never going to go somewhere and they're just like, well, I'm just going to stay here. But you got to understand, some people got long reach, man. And <laughs> some of you dudes be asking for it, like for real. Stepper to admit what they've done out loud and especially not in front of no cameras top five is really running around bragging about unaliving a civilian a 20 year old college student who wasn't in the street who wasn't a part of any gang culture this is what he's bragging about guy yeah the guy's talking sick i just beat the body so, i feel like i'm untouchable so what you guys were on the aiden ross stream um kendrick lamar's people are on him are you guys gonna protect him here what do you say are we going to protect Aiden Ross? Because now that they have beef with Aiden Ross because he put us on the stream. Bro, Aiden Ross is cool, bro. So they went on to talk about Aiden Ross. I do not care about that little white boy. I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, who gets online and talks about crimes they allegedly commit or they want to commit? That's two instances where he's on live saying he's going to unalive somebody. First, Kendrick. Then J3, and then previously he said that he should have blew YG's brains out. That's what he said. He should have blew YG's brains out. And he wanted to fist fight Metro. Mind you, y'all. Bro, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. And, and, and this is another reason why I don't respect Drake. This is another reason why I don't fuck with that ball. It's another reason why. Because it's, this is your man's. This is your man's, Drake. You should have literally called that nigga up or said something like, bro, you got to stop that, bro. We're not doing that, bro. Nah. But you but you want to be you want to be a gangster, bro. You want to be gangster. So it's like, oh, yeah, well, I don't care what they say. Because you want to be gangster. It's being reported this this body he keeps bragging on. 
it's being reported he didn't actually do anything. He's just the fall guy. He's just the crash dummy. They made him take the body to prove himself. And because he's obviously a little slow, he's a short bus shorty, he did it and was sitting in jail for three years. But yeah, y'all, so that video went viral. J3 saw it. And of course, y'all know J3 was going to come and say something because he's trained to go. He's TTG. He's trained to go. And this is what J3 had to say. He basically said, and this is kind of mild. Well, not really. The second one is not mild. <laughs> I take that back. He said, um, top lies must be on crazy meds. And then he said, I'm outside and always ready to play. Please don't get this young man started. If y'all seen that documentary um, that Kendrick Lamar did when he was back in Compton and he had the members behind him, they did a story on J3 where J3 almost lost his life when he was like, what, 15 years old? So yeah, you if you know, if you've seen that documentary, you've seen that story. Um, so yeah, that's the situation. And in low key, it seems like Drake is trying to separate himself from top five because he yaps too much. But Drake, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late, unfortunately. You're you're caught in you're caught in 4K. We kept the files. We kept them. I hope you know that. Um, shout out to my girl. Absolutely. Absolutely. She was just in the chat earlier today and I told y'all that I have a video of hers that I wanted to um, share. She did an amazing, amazing, amazing video titled Drake in Top 5 Strategy of a, of a Groomer where she has the, the facts that y'all remember when Top 5 got out of jail and he was talking about Drake paid his bail and how Drake paid his lawyer fees. He posted a tweet. Hold on. Or not a tweet. Uh, Instagram post, I think it was. In the rap world, it opens the door to several unintended consequences. Now that Top 5 himself dry snitched the true nature of his relationship with Drake. The fact that Top 5 initially posted about Drake paying his legal fees, but later edited the post to remove that information, suggests a deliberate attempt to conceal Drake's involvement. This raises three important points. Number one, secrecy. If Drake did pay top five legal fees, the intent may have been to keep this hidden from public view, possibly to avoid the appearance of manipulation. In oh, I'm going to stop that right there. Um, I'm going to review that video. Um, and I'm going to go see if I can find that. But y'all can watch the rest of it on her channel, Chilling with Moni, but I'm not going to watch the rest of it on here because I'm actually want to actually want to watch that whole video and give commentary to it that's pretty dope but yeah yeah make sure y'all go uh subscribe to her channel channel and money all that good stuff um she has a really good channel um yeah man how i feel about this we gotta weed these people out man gotta stop letting these people just just uh take over our culture all of these all of these uh these 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 Dumb imbecile niggas, they gotta go. They gotta go. These dumb niggas gotta go. We constantly let these dumb niggas just take over, and then we feel sympathetic for them. If something happens to them. Something happened to them. We gotta feel bad for the nigga. After all the goofy shit these niggas been doing, we feel bad for them. Nah, not no more. Not no more. Like Stevie Wonder out this joint. No, 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 no. Not no more. They got to go. Got to get them out of here. Walk them to the door. They got to go. Because we keep on allowing things like this to happen. What y'all think going to happen? It's only, it's only uh, bad vibes coming from that guy, Top 5. And she said that, you know, Drake tried to distance himself from him, but I haven't seen it. And he should come out and make a statement and say, nah, top five, I'm not, I'm not supporting that. But who knows the reason why? He got his own reasons why. Either way, man, six o'clock show's over. I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all have yourself a good night. Go eat y'all some 
Uh, let me see. What what can y'all eat tonight? What can y'all eat? These no, nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> y'all have a good night, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.